With Benchmark Email, you can easily view real-time reports and statistics for all your email campaigns fast. One way is to click on an email's name from the main dashboard. This is handy if you sent out an email a few days ago and need to quickly see what's happening with it. But what about an email you sent months ago or a report on a survey? All of your reports are available by clicking Reports from the main dashboard. As you can see, there are reports for nearly every benchmark tool. Email reports are probably the most common type you will be studying, so this overview will focus on that type first. Let's dive into an email report. To view a report on an email campaign, again, click on the email name and its associated report opens. Easy, right? The first bit of information in a report is, of course, the overview. This tells you when your email was sent and to how many people. A click on View Lists will open. You guessed it, the lists that this campaign were associated with. From here, you can also check the percentage of opens, bounces, and unopens. Activity details will give you a complete list of the individual email addresses of people who opened your email, as well as provide more statistical data such as link performance, which gives you an overall click performance percentage and even zeroes in on where in your email people click the most. Need to see geographically where an email was opened? The geolocation link provides you with a precise location of where your content was most popular. Back to the report overview, you can study your click interactions and reactions. And you can even study your click interaction by the hour by using the slider to zero in on the peak hours of engagement. By clicking next to view, you can perform useful tasks such as resend, reuse your email, among other things. Want to share your campaign on Facebook or Twitter again? You can do that by clicking Share. And finally, you can export your email report as a PDF or print it to show your boss or partner how good the campaign was. Before I let you go, I want you to notice that there is no report listing for Automation Pro. Automation Pro is very advanced and has its own reporting system built into each automation you make. Here's an example. From the dashboard, I'm going to choose Automations then Automation Pro to view an active journey. As you can see, above every node of the automation is a number. This number represents a stat, in this case, a person. You can see that 64 people have signed up from a sign-up form, and the same 64 people are in a previous segment. Five of those 64, by being in a different segment, were moved to an entirely new list. Nifty, right? If there were emails in this automation, we would get to the email report from the email node itself, and its associated report opens. All right, I hope that will inspire you to start studying your reports. The data these reports provide you with will definitely help you achieve a different level of engagement. Speaking of engagement, in the next video, I'll show you how to create your first welcome automation using Automation Lite. Thanks for watching.